Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share how I make cute icebox cookies. You don't need any special tools to make cute cookies and ingredients are very simple. And let's get started. So for the cookie dough, put 3 bars of unsalted butter in a bowl. It's about 340 grams of butter. The butter is already softened in room temperature. And add 1 to 1.5 one cup of sugar. Adjust the amount of sugar per your preference. Blend them well until the mixture gets white and fluffy. Next, beat 3 room temperature eggs and add to the butter mixture little by little. Blend them well until the mixture gets fluffy and heavy. And then add 6 cups of cake flour in 3 parts. Blend the cake flour well in the mixture. And then separate the cookie dough into three equal pieces. For brown dough, I am using hot chocolate powder as I didn't have any cocoa powder for baking and, and I added 2 tablespoons of hot chocolate powder and lightly knead the dough to blend the powder well. For green dough, add 3 teaspoons of green tea powder and knead the cookie dough lightly to blend the powder well. And then separate the brown dough in half and form a rectangle. Try to make each surface as flat as possible and then wrap the dough in plastic wrap. And then repeat the process for green and white dough. And spread some flour on the surface and take about two thirds of the brown dough and flatten the dough with a rolling pin and make a thin square. And then take about one third of the white dough and roll it into a small cylinder. The length of the cylinder is the same as the length of the square. Put the white cylinder dough on the brown dough and roll the brown dough from the top and remove some excess dough and wrap it in a plastic wrap. Take half of the remaining brown dough and make two thin cylinders. The length of the two cylinders is the same as the length of the rolled dough. And then wrap the dough in a plastic wrap. And then repeat the process for the green dough. Put a piece of plastic wrap and spread some flour on it and then take all of the remaining white dough and flatten it with a rolling pin and make a thin square. And then cover the dough in a plastic wrap. And then spread some flour on a piece of plastic wrap and then take all the remaining brown dough and flatten it with a rolling pin and then make a relatively smaller square. And then cover the dough with plastic wrap. Finally, put all the leftover dough together and form a cylinder. And then put the dough in the fridge for 1 to 2 hours. Remove the dough from the fridge and cut the rectangle dough into 4 equal stripes.
Place a stripe of white dough next to a stripe of brown dough and then brush some egg white wash to stick them together. Stack a stripe of white dough on the brown dough and then stack a stripe of brown dough on the white one. Wrap the dough and rest it in the fridge for another one hour. Brush some egg white wash on the white square dough and then attach the brown square dough on the white dough and then roll the dough from the bottom. Wrap the dough and rest it for another one hour in the fridge. Brush some egg white wash on top of the brown cylinder dough and then attach two brown zinc cylinder to make bare ears. And then wrap the dough and rest it for another one hour in the fridge. And then repeat the process for the green cylinder dough. When the dough gets hard enough to slice, slice the dough into about 5mm to 1cm in thickness. Please adjust the thickness of your cookies by your preference. Place a piece of parchment paper on the baking pan and then place the cookies on it. For the bear cookies, attach two black sesames to make eyes and then put one black sesame on the white part to make a nose. And then for the frog cookies, put one black sesame on each circle to make eyes and then carve a shallow line with a toothpick to make a mouth. Preheat the oven for 370 degrees and then bake the cookies for 10 to 15 minutes. After your cookies are ready, wait 3 to 5 minutes to remove them from the baking sheet and then cool them on a cookie rack. And then it's ready. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.